Hi guys, uh, what I'd like to do now is just go over one of my favourite uh, methods for removing a background from an object. Um, and I use this primarily for um, occasions where I have a very hard edged or man made object, something like you might see on screen, and um, in times where you might find that the magic wand uh, might fail you in terms of the background and the foreground being too similar and magic wand and quick selections are going to fail on this occasion so for me um, i'm going to rely upon one of my favorite tools and that is the pen tool mask or the vector mask so what i need to do is draw a path around the shape and before i go too much further when i use photoshop and i'm clicking with my pen tool i will see that weird overcorrection on that curve there if that happens to you Option, your key, option key, click back on that very end point and that will allow you to establish, you know, a nice, or you can control your curves a bit better. So just option, click on those end points. And now I'm going to do this really quickly. Um, I hope it's not too bad, but hopefully you'll be able to do a bit better than I do. So I'm just going to run my path around the edge of this guy. And as I say, with all of my masking um, operations, I always cut in just a pixel just a little pixel come in a little pixel uh, otherwise you'll tend to get a bit of a ghost around your your um your subject or maybe a halo or something and it can be it can look a little bit false so always cut in just a whisker on your pixels obviously not too much that would that would be a bit destructive but uh just a little bit so i'm whipping around this guy very very fastly and that will do for the purposes of our exercise. So, and again, he is an editable path. So with my command key, my command key depressed, I can just massage this shape to be a little bit more sympathetic to what I'm after here. So that looks pretty reasonable. I'm on my layer that I'm selecting and I'm just gonna hit the mask tool. Boom, just like so. There is my pen tool mask. It's got some issues on the mask, so I can select that path and just edit that path should I need to. Probably going to need my white arrow to do that. There we go. I can pull that in. So it looks pretty good, hey? Nice, nice job. You can see there's those halos that I was talking about. Just pulling your mask just a little bit, and there he is, looking very good. Um, pen tool mask, one of my favourites. So I'm going to do another scenario here now, and this is the same idea, but we have these little issues of the um, the negative shapes inside of here. So what I'd like to do is run my pen tool around the perimeter of the shape, and I'm going to do that now. But what I might do is I might just pause the video while I do it, so you don't have to watch me do that again. Okay, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> and I've run my path around the perimeter or the outside edge of my little fellow here. But I have these negative shapes in the middle that I think I'm going to need to remove. So once you have done your outside, you want to tackle the inside. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that very quickly. And nice and accurately, the most accurate selection tool for this kind of work, the pen tool. So I have all of those fellows selected. And I'm going to go to the mask. Now, when things go wrong in Photoshop, I always tell my students to start asking questions up in the options bar. This area of the screen is where all the bad things happen in Photoshop. So you've got your tool selected, got the pen tool in this case, and I have my layer selected. I would always check if things are not expected or happening unexpectedly, I'm going to We'll start looking in this area. So once my paths and all the shapes are selected, I'm going to hit mask. Okay, so it that's worked out quite well, mask like so. Um, if yours doesn't work out, this area of the screen here might need to be changed. Currently, I have it set to that. But if you were to, you know, perhaps choose another option, you would get different results. And that's just a little trick, Photoshop is always um, so powerful sometimes that it's, uh, you know, it's, 
lots of lots of different options but you know that means you've just got to sometimes find it so that looks like the one we need there and we're gonna mask it beauty so that's really that's all I need to do right now just want to show you that the pen tool mask is a super super powerful uh, tool for getting those cutouts looking crisp and sharp and clean uh, look I hope that helps and I'll see you in class